This is a plastic model that was developed by Dr. Ponsetti to demonstrate how his manipulative technique is performed. The four components of the club foot are easily seen. There is a midfoot adductus, there is midfoot cavus, high arch, there is hind foot varus, and there is equinus. And it's important to remember that there are two components to, of the equinus. One is subtalar equinus and the other is ankle equinus. In a newborn or an untreated baby, the cavus is never a fixed deformity. The cavus can be reduced by simply elevating the first ray to bring all the metatarsals into a parallel position. Another way of looking at it is that you, you elevate the medial side of the foot until the arch appears normal. By reducing the cavus, it, it brings the forefoot and midfoot in alignment with the hind foot, thereby allowing the forefoot to be a motor to move the hind foot. The fulcrum for the manipulation is the lateral head of the talus, where the red dot is placed. Dr. Ponsetti put no on the calcaneocuboid joint because if, you put, if your finger is at this point, it will block the movement of the hind foot. And this is what he calls Hiram Kite's mistake. The calcaneocuboid joint was the fulcrum for initial correction by Hiram Kite. So by reducing the cavus, bringing the forefoot in line with the hind foot, and using the head of the tail as the fulcrum, the entire Ponsetti manipulation consists of abducting the foot so that the entire foot moves as a whole around the talus. This simultaneously corrects the cavus by positioning it in a normal position. It corrects the adduction by abducting through the midfoot. And as you can see, it corrects the hind foot varus into valgus by the simple maneuver of abduction. By purely abducting with no attempt to dorsiflex the foot whatsoever, you can see that the foot will dorsiflex because the subtalar component of the equinus is reduced as the calcaneus everts underneath the talus. The final step of the Ponsetti technique is usually a tenotomy to eliminate the ankle component of the equinus. To reiterate, the Ponsetti manipulation for idiopathic club foot is as simple as one, two, three. One, you find the head of the talus by palpation. Two, you reduce the cavus to bring the forefoot and midfoot in line with the hind foot. And you do this by visual inspection of the bottom of the foot that you've made a normal arch. And three, you abduct. And abduction is in the plane of the sole of the foot. The plane of the sole of the foot is made up by the three points, the heel, the first and fifth metatarsals. And Dr. Ponsetti recognized that that was the external sign of the motion of the subtalar joint. So the initial abduction of the foot is in this vector. But as the foot corrects, that the vector changes from, the, from being this way compared to this way. So the vector always follows the sole of the foot. And as the subtalar joint corrects, the direction of the abduction vector changes.